hello world how's it going hope you guys are all doing great if not as always i hope it gets better for you so we're down here in the office section heading into the main fish room where it all started where i keep my lovely green water tank things gold but this is where it all started started with a couple racks in here actually there's only 14 tanks in here i built these racks I wasn't even planning on going this far with all these tanks that eventually one day I stacked this on top there's actually a metal pole right here that holds these in together that it wasn't even pre-planned to even go this high up with tanks then next thing you know it spills all the way out into the whole house but what we're here for is to kind of go through my closet and as you see, there is all sorts of stuff. So I figure we'll run through here, uh, share a little bit of just kind of what I've used and why I use it, if I still use it and why I don't use it. So I guess we'll just start from the top and work our way down. Um, up here, I've got a ton of Tetracolor Tropical Granule Cans which is what inspired me to make this video. I'm actually, I put, I filled two boxes of those already and about to do some more. I'm actually getting this all kind of put together because we're gonna be moving down to Fort Myers, Florida and the house is gonna be going for sale. So I'm gonna take some things I need. As far as like most of the stuff, I don't even need for the fish room really. It's just stuff I collected. As far as like, I hardly ever come to this closet for anything. But I do use it to keep stuff because, I mean, once in a while, I don't know. I may grab one of those just because I have it. And uh, my bottles, I think those broke down, but I need to like clean out the ends or something. Then I could get them to work. But uh, specimen container is always good to have. This is a PVC pipe and a magnifying glass, so... If you stick this in the water, then uh, you can actually see the fish. Let me see some. It's hard to focus, but get the idea. There's some fish, the camera and the tube, but I can see it clear as day, especially through all that ratio. And there's that. And then this space was actually just full of more of the tetracolor tropical granules things. Here I've got bunch of milwaukee co2 regulators always loved using those um i think here there's a 12 port manifold those manifolds are always tricky to go because uh trying to fine tune each one and if one changes it kind of changes all the rest and then just random pipes and stuff this is in case somebody gets in the fish room and tries to act stupid um, this is placo breeding mesh slate more mesh this is good for all kinds of sort of stuff breeding making mesh baskets and we got geotextile fabric we've got spoons old sponge filters i didn't know i still had any of those left a turkey baster what is that these are like scoop uh yeah landscaping tools never got these little scrapers let's smooth out the area i need this you just like use your hand i don't know some people like to do it fancy though and then here's like all my airline stuff this stuff goes way back lots of co2 drop checkers teas whatnot co2 testers uh where you put the liquid in see if it's blue or green and you can check your co2 that way random co2 materials all kind of airline co2 stuff uh, more placo caves epsom salt or aquarium salt methylene blue i don't even know why i have those those have been back there forever random plastic pieces um these strainers are actually really good i love these strainers what else is back there is that? that's bankter kit kinds of stuff but with uh what was i saying oh those strainers these mesh strainers 
I love these mesh strainers. So say you do a trim in a tank or something, like you wanna get all the little bits out. This works great to get those little bits out. Just scoop, scoop. Isn't that right? Dang, look at that boy. You can really see these fish with this new camera. I'm loving it. Then we got a mesh intake strainer, random aquarium co-op shot glass, spoons, aquarium co-op. That's some random micro food, flake food. I got that from Pond Kit, Aquascape. Well, let's see, we got Artemia strainers, little sieves. A couple of those. Those actually work great for like brine shrimp and all kinds of stuff. Canaplex. More Canaplex. I never actually used that stuff. I thought I was going to have to. Just random plastic bottles. Uh, more geotextile fabric magnifying glasses because i mean or you never know make another one of these sometime actually the best way to get these because these can get expensive but once in a while you go to like a hardware store and they'll be like super cheap and just for the lens alone to be able to get those for like five bucks or something is actually a pretty good deal and all you have to do is unscrew this and then that banding comes off and you got lenses and that's how I made that. Voila. And then over here I've got vials. These are from like Gary Lang eggs. Who knows? Vials are good. May need to put some in there sometime. This is why I'm a hoarder, I guess. More plastics. Recycle, reuse, you know. Um, mortar. That's like crush up stuff. Medicines or something. Who knows? Leaves. Crushed up granules weird stuff this is actually from a mining kit i can't remember what i was using that in here for then just more plastics saving the plastics so let me get to this more plastics this is actually some kit i think but i've actually never used it either the uh plug-in outlet remote control this is the remote kind of setting i use for my system, for my pumps. You can make anything remote control. I know uh, Alexa does a lot of that for people these days. Spray bottles, breeding nets, I really don't like those. That's why they're still new, sitting there all crumbled not caring. More plastics, little special trap thingies I've tried to make. And then just random other pieces, suction. This is for like holding kelp or beans or something, lettuce, whatever. Syringe, heater holders, or all kinds of, ash. actually just gonna try a CO2 project with these. Intake mesh, that's how those work. Just slide on the intake there with the hang on the back. These things are great. Stainless steel mesh intake. I need to actually put a things I use. I do have a things I use on my website, but it's not really that up to date. This is like some of that Shung Night stuff. Um, I was given this by Nocturnal Aquariums, I believe. I hope I remember that right, because they're totally awesome people. And then clamp on light. Uh, random food, probably not even good anymore. Osmocult tabs, which I don't even use those. Hence why there's a whole bag full. Been sitting there. I don't know if that stuff expires. These are all just from lights that I've had. All the little extender pieces to come on some of those LED lights. Random piece of bark, floating islands. Yeah, oh yeah, I used to do floating islands with these put plants on top and then they just float then you'd have like an island of plants like pearl weed or something that was always fun timers backup timers more backup timers ph meters that i thought i was going to use and need a lot of i bought a ton of tds meters and a ton of ph meters and eventually i realized that i didn't need the ph meters 
but the TDS meter is definitely low shell. And then random mesh netting. You gotta be careful with some of this netting though. You get too big of a netting and it becomes a trap. I've learned that the hard way before. And then toolbox, tackle box. Uh, these are always handy. Super, super handy because they come in slots. Even four tools or whatnot. Uh, you got your intakes and stuff, filter kind of stuff. When I used to use filter, the only thing I really grab out of here anymore is like the needle and the thread and zip ties and then these twisty things. Besides that, there's like fishing line, sinkers, steel cables if you want to hang something, some dab, who knows how old that is. Still fell soft though. That thing has got to be, I don't know, eight years old at least. So it's been forever since I used filters. Um, let's see, more filter pieces. Like, see, I used to dabble in the filtration back then. Drop checkers. These are just a little piece that goes between the regulators. These used to be hard to find. All right, so there's that. And then a pumpkin full of candy, which we're actually hiding this from Leslie because we actually overbought a Halloween candy and we don't want them to eat it all the time. And more plastic stuff, pumps, random pumps. See, I've got all the pumps and stuff, I just don't use them. Big pump parts, still more plastic pieces. Containers for fish. You never know when you use them or give somebody a fish. Those are actually really good to reuse those and like so you got a couple fish, boom boom. Here you go, buddy. Take it with you. And then we got some tops, lots of tops. I actually store a bunch of tops back down there too. I think that's a light maybe. Internal filter. And else is in there oh more internal filters heaters lots of heaters green boxes pill boxes i used to do my ferts like this i'd put my macro macros boom 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 that gave me a couple weeks of my micro macros or for a couple tanks but then you know after a while you you got so many tanks you can go blow right through that real fast some of them square nets i like these little nets for um, certain things like baby fish. I don't really like them for shrimp so much. But with those little containers I got when I need to get fish out of there, those are, that's nice. The thermometers, um, the deli cup lids, they used to keep the, uh, splash off the airlines back then when I used to do that. If any of y'all remember, I know some of you guys are still hanging around watching. Um, but lots of plastic containers. You know pictures for scooping up things never have enough plastic containers for heck sometimes i'll turn these in sometimes i'll turn those into extra tanks put some water in there a little quick quarantine tank and co2 airline so a lot of people may or some people may not know this but airline this is airline is softer but this is co2 tubing more rigid it actually much better for a co2 because uh it'll dissipate through that airline then old air pumps and gang valves and whatnot and what we got down here oh my god i forgot i had this this is a little money just sitting here Jeez louise these are the uh doctors the ch to Heroes Aquatic Studio. So this is supposed to help you from getting algae. What it does is it like nukes the water or something, vaporizes the molecules to where it like spritz all this air. And I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of it. So I got a few of those sitting there. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. Random hosing, cause I mean, who doesn't want to hoard hoses? 
Man, I do have a lot of stuff. It's been a while since I've been through this. More filter, that's like the uh, Powerhead sponge filter kind of stuff. And then in here, um, more filter parts, plumbing parts. See, this is why this is insane. Like, look at all these filter parts that I have. This is a big reason why I love going like the all natural method. Oh, lights are turning off, but I mean, no airline. This has an airline in it, it ain't running though. So you can see that one's not even in. So if that one's not in, it ain't, it's just blowing the air right out. Now I do have some in like these, but that one I put green water in. This one just needs scraped. But like, you don't really, like a lot of situations, you don't need the filtration. I'm not saying filtration is bad. I mean, because it can be helpful. And really a lot of these tanks in this room, like they haven't had a water change in like six months or so. Like not a real water change, just top offs. But like all this plastic, it's really unnecessary, not really needed. And then I got a mash, mash, bash, gitch. Now I would probably, I don't know, I'd probably keep some filters if it was done properly, better than what they are now. But I don't know, I still don't need them, so I don't know if I ever would or not. More airline. Which I've got an idea to make them better, but then I'm torn between that. Like, is it really necessary? Like, I would like to create that for people, but what am I really teaching people? Granted, like I said, that there is, this has all kinds of different random stuff. Algae killer. That thing's toast. That was Elevate Shrimp, Chaz Hings. See, I'm always just kind of paranoid to use stuff that I just don't know in my tanks. Because, um, you just don't know. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And with, and with Mother Nature, I mean, I learned not to fight that. Uh, algae as well. Oh, laser ink brand thing. Anyways, I'm gonna go, go through all that old 3D honeycomb where you put moss in. All kinds of weird stuff like that. Same here. Here's all the real weird stuff. Random parts of this, that, and other super glue. What is this? this is like for bettas to see themselves. Little thermometers. Remember these thermometers I used to have? Ooh, a flashlight. Those are always handy. More 3D printed uh, moss ledges from Elevate Shrimp. Smoky free stuff. Yeah, I used to give like a bunch of this stuff. Like if you guys meet me at the conventions, I'd have stuff in just totes like this where I'd just give free stuff away from out of my fish closet. It's because all the stuff I would get. Then we got more pumps and full siphon. Random stuff, just junk. Ooh, these skimmers are nice. They're a pain to deal with. Maintain. And we got hundreds of aquariums. And then I've got like glass marbles, rocks and stuff back there. And that's pretty much it. And lots of power heads and heaters for random stuff. But wow, took me a bit longer to go through this whole closet than I thought it would. I still gotta go through it again, pack it, organize it or something. I don't know. Cause I hate to just throw stuff out when either somebody else could use it down the road or I may use it down the road. Like I say, sometimes I, sometimes I just give it away for free, just to give it a new home. But anyways, enough of my rambling. You can see, man, I even need to do top offs in here. It's crazy. Hold on. Just look at that tank. Just crips. Can you say crips? Snowball shrimp. I don't even have those on my website. I don't think. Maybe I added them on there. Had those for a long time too. Just hoarding. Hoarding, 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 hoarding. It's 
So whoever gets this next, hopefully they'll share a little more, a little better than I did. All right, now back to packing. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. Hit that like button, that'd be great. And yeah, until next time, peace. Have a great one.